everyone, welcome to Vertical Movement PT. I'm Dr. Cindy Kimmy, physical therapist, and today we are going to do a runner's workout to help build our core muscles, our scapular stabilizers, and our hip stabilizers using some fun little resistant bands. So go ahead, grab your mat, grab your bands, and if you don't have any, that's okay. You can go ahead and do these exercises without them, but well, let's get started. All right, our first exercise is chin tuck planks with toe taps. You're gonna put the band behind your head. If you don't have a band, no worries. You're gonna go on your forearms, make sure your elbows are underneath your shoulder and that your hips are squared and aligned with your ankles. You're gonna engage your core nice and tight. Make sure your glutes and your hips are not sticking up into the air, but make sure your glutes are down and aligned with the rest of your body. You're gonna feel a little bit of a muscle engagement in the front of your neck, and the, that is the deep neck flexors. You just wanna make sure you're not extending your head backwards, straining the back of your neck. This exercise is great to strengthen the scapular stabilizers, your core, and your hip stabilizers. This next exercise is called Pull Apart with a Marge. So you're gonna grab your resistant band, you're gonna pull it apart, squeezing your shoulder blade together and adding a march. If you do not have a resistant band, you can go ahead and just squeeze your shoulder blades back. Or if you have a one, two, two, or a three pound dumbbell, you can go ahead and use that for a little bit of resistance. So the idea of this exercise is to focus on keeping your core stabilized and engaged, as well as working on your hip stabilization and ankle stabilization. You just want to make sure that your shoulders are not hiking up towards your ears, but keeping it down, focusing on squeezing the shoulder blades back. You also want to focus on trying not to shift too much side to side, but doing your best to stay nice and stable, working on that balance. Can go ahead and do this one nice and slow. There's no reason to hurry because the whole idea is to work on your stabilization. You're gonna go ahead and do 10 of these for each side of your, your legs. Make sure to take nice deep breaths through your diaphragm. But yes, this is a great one to help you with running. All right, moving on to our next exercise, we are going to do a plank with a trunk rotation. If you have a resistant band, you can go ahead and add that. Having the top arm pull the band up over your head as you rotate to that thoracic rotation. Make sure your core is nice and engaged and your glutes are engaged. Shoulder blades squeezed back as you rotate. Do your best not to let your low back fall down towards the ground. You want to keep your trunk nice and aligned. Also make sure that your head isn't falling forward and that your deep neck flexors are engaged and that your neck is aligned with your upper back. You're going to go ahead and do 10 of these. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. We're gonna do the exact same thing, a plank with a trunk rotation. Focusing on that core engagement. And you might find that one side's a little weaker than the other side. As you can see here, I have my feet a little bit wider than my hips to help with my balance, and that's totally okay. If you want a bit more of a challenge, you can go ahead and bring your feet in a little bit more. That would challenge your core a lot more, having a narrow base of support. You're gonna go ahead and do 10 repetitions of these trunk rotations. Next exercise are the crab walks. So you can add resistant loops onto your thigh and your 
ribs. You're gonna go ahead and squat down just a little bit, making sure your knees are not going past your toes. And you're gonna step side to side. You can also have your legs straight if you're looking for something not too much of a challenge or if the squat hurts your knees. And as you step, you're gonna lift your arms up, making sure your shoulder blades are squeezed back, keeping your shoulders down. So this exercise is a great combo exercise to work the shoulder, scapular stabilizers, as well as your hip stabilizers. Perfect to help you on your daily runs. Our next exercise is the running man. So you're gonna stand and balance on your left leg. With your right leg, you're gonna drive it forward and then extend it back. You could tap your toe to the ground if you want, but if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can let your foot hover. Your right arm, it's going to follow the right leg. So when the right leg goes back, the right arm's gonna go forward. This exercise is a wonderful exercise that replicates running perfectly and it helps with balance. Okay, let's switch to the other side. So now standing on your right leg, core engaged. And here I'm doing this exercise with toe taps. My left leg going back and tapping the ground. You wanna make sure that your head, that you're not looking down at the ground, but looking forward. And you can also, if you wanna make this exercise a little harder, you can take out the toe taps and have your left foot hover. Our next exercise are bridges. You can add the resistant band if you have one. And you're just gonna work on pushing your glutes up. If you want to make this exercise harder, you could do single leg bridges. You just wanna make sure that your pelvis is aligned and that one side is not dipping down lower than the other. If you feel stable and that your pelvis is aligned and parallel, you can go ahead and add a hip abduction when you're at the top of your bridge. Just make sure that you're not using your lower back muscle, but you're using the gluteus maximus, engaging your muscles to lift you up. All right, let's move on to working the other side. You can place that band on your thigh if you have it. If not, no worries. You can do regular bridges or single leg bridges. Just make sure your form is good. Pelvis is aligned. And that you, you do not have any pain in your low back or in your knee. And if you feel like you're in control and your form is good, you can add that hip abduction at the top of your bridge. This exercise is great to help with the hip stabilization. This next exercise, they're called shoulder taps. You're gonna place the band around your back and underneath your armpits. You're gonna hold onto the band with your hands and go into a plank position. You want your hands to be underneath your shoulder and feet hip width apart. Then you're gonna go ahead and tap your opposite shoulder. The idea of this exercise and using the band, it helps facilitate the serratus anterior muscle and prevent your shoulder scapular muscles from not being activated. We're gonna do 10 of these. All right, we are on round two. We're gonna repeat all of the exercises. This time around, you can go ahead and enjoy the music and enjoy this workout.
Go ahead, grab a glass of water, take a break, because you deserve it. I'll catch you next time.